Hi, I'm Travis and this is Curious Tangents and the sky is blue if viewed from inside of Earth's atmosphere. If you were to look at the sky from a place that's not within Earth's atmosphere, like say the surface of the moon, you would notice a lack of sky. This is a photo of outer space. Now the reason why the moon has a cold dark void of space and we have a blue sky is because we have an atmosphere. When we look up and see the blue sky, what we're really seeing is how light from the sun interacts with the molecules within our atmosphere and that produces the blue color. But why is it blue? To answer this, we need to understand light. Light is a spectrum, an electromagnetic spectrum. And on that spectrum of visible light, blue is one of the highest energy colors red being one of the lowest. Generally speaking, colors which are perceived as warmer are lower on the energy spectrum, meaning that the wavelength is longer, whereas colors which are perceived as cold are higher on the spectrum, meaning that the wavelength is shorter. The wavelengths of light are bigger than the molecules that make up our atmosphere. Because of this, the shorter the wavelength of light, the more it is reflected. Because blue light is smaller and thus closer in size to the molecules that make up the atmosphere, it gets scattered more frequently, and this is called Rayleigh scattering. Higher energy light gets scattered more because it's closer in size to the particles that make up the atmosphere. But violet light is higher energy than even blue, so how come the sky isn't violet? Well, there's three reasons. One being that the sun does not produce as much violet light as it does blue light. Two being that you are a human and thus see blue better than you see violet. And three being that the sky actually isn't blue. Similarly, this shirt isn't blue, this painting's not blue, and this diploma's not blue. In fact, nothing is any color whatsoever. This video is not about Rayleigh scattering or why the sky is blue. Rather, like all my other videos, this video is about human perception. To see, seeing is perceiving, but perceiving is not necessarily reality. The electromagnetic spectrum, which I showed you earlier, has on it a section for visible light. However, visible light is not special. This visible light scale is subjective, not between humans, but between different animals. Humans can see wavelengths of light from 700 to 400 nanometers, or from red to violet. Ultraviolet radiation, or light that is too high energy for humans to see, can be seen by species of birds. In fact, birds have feathers that reflect ultraviolet radiation, meaning that they look completely different to each other than they do to humans. They have a whole different set of colors. This can also be done by ra reindeer. This is also done by reindeer for some reason. Also, snakes, goldfish, and mosquitoes can all see in infrared light, something that's too low energy for humans to pick up. But back to the point, those colors do not really exist. The LED screen that you are watching this video on right now is producing blue light and a few other colors. When that light makes its way to the cone cells within your eyes, it is then transferred to the brain. The brain then makes sense of it because the brain needs to make sense. And your brain's way of making sense of this particular wavelength of light is to experience it as blue. But the light itself and the objects are not what we call blue before it reaches your brain. So the reason why the sky is blue is because we are human and our brains make sense of this wavelength by experiencing it as what we call blue. We can all look up at our blue sky, agree upon the fact that it's blue, but never really know what the other person experienced. In fact, it's, with current technology, impossible to know what the other person experienced. No matter how I try to explain to you my experience of the blue sky, I can never really give you my particular sensory input of it. It is mine and mine alone. This is called the egocentric predicament. There is no way for me to communicate to you in a way that you could feel the things that I felt. In your mind, you are alone. However, we can all look up and admire the blue of the sky or inquire on why it's that color, like our ancestors have done for generations before us, held together despite the fact that they were alone in their own heads. And thank you for watching.
If you like this video, like and subscribe to Curious Tangents. I'm trying to do this more frequently than what I do currently, which is like a video every 10 days. Preferably I'd like to make two videos a week. Thank you for watching.